Hi, this is a very brief video on the KN920 uh, HF transceiver out of China. <coughs> uh, and just as a bit of a comparison on size, I've got the FT817 here and also the Chinese uh, X1M QRP radio. Uh, the 920 is certainly a lot bigger than I expected. But uh, anyway, we'll, we'll go for a quick run through it. So the power button on the side here, you've got to press and hold this one. Okay, so fairly large display, um, fairly straightforward as well. Uh, we've got the four function buttons down the bottom here it's for your various modes. So F1 corresponds to sideband, F2 CW, F3 AM, F4 sideband. So the sideband one uh, alternates between the upper and lower, as you can see up in the corner here. Upper sideband, lower sideband, uh, F2. C for CW up in the corner here. F3 AM. F4 FM. Uh, as you can see, um, the only button that actually has multiple uses in this case is the, uh, the F1 uh, to go between upper and lower. Uh, now we've got the display button here. Uh, this will take you into the various menus. I've literally only played this radio. Uh, probably 30 seconds so uh, I don't know what any of these do yet but um, uh, we can see here that uh, there's various different functions uh, I assume that's a tuning step lock uh, not sure what they might be uh, VFO, memory, AB yeah, fairly standard functions there for the memories in VFO um, RIT, KO, SPF and then back to the mode so uh, fairly basic functions uh, in terms of uh, well, ATU, we've got an ATU button here uh, given we don't have an ATU uh, <laughs> hooked up it's uh, obviously not doing anything got an RF power knob on the side here um, got the AF knob uh, what's this, C CW tuning um, it sounds like that is basically an IF offset or some kind of uh, band tuning. Notice we're not in CW mode, so it's obviously more than just a uh, a CW tuning feature. And uh, we've got FM squelch, which not doing anything in sideband. Yeah, okay, it's just standard squelch. And uh, that's about it. Fairly straightforward. Uh, the uh, pinouts on the front. A just standard uh, what looks like an icon pinout. Uh, the mic that comes with it is a uh, it's branded icon, but uh, I think it's probably a Chinese clone, the uh, HM36. Uh, looks fairly robust, um, fairly big sort of industrial looking handle type things on here. Uh, it's a uh, looks like a die cast aluminium casing. The front and rear actually looks like a uh, fiberglassy type uh, circuit board um, material just move these out of the way um, it's fairly light surprisingly very light um, I'm looking forward to cracking it open and having a look inside uh, fairly basic uh, interfaces on the back uh, we've got the standard uh, SO239 fan which is um, blowing out a fair bit of air which is good uh, standard um, DC connector says here 13.8 uh, volts at, at 4 amps uh, we've got a 3.5mm speaker connection 3.5mm key 3.5mm uh, auto key uh, and a USB uh, not too sure what the USB is for but I'm looking forward to uh, having a bit of a play Anyway, there you go. That's the KN920 uh, HF all-mode transceiver uh, from China. 7.3s, VK6 Tango Whiskey Oscar, VK3 TWO.